draw my makeup mama here. Also, no makeup mama. Also, just mama. Um, I have not vlogged in a while, so I figured today would be a good day to do it because I am, we are, me and my husband are meeting a friend for his birthday dinner at a fancier Italian place and I haven't had a chance to like actually get ready and like dress up or anything. So I just figured I'd take you guys with me on the journey of the craziness that is my mind when I'm trying to get ready. So it should be an adventurous ride. I hope you join it. If you're new to my channel, welcome. This is not my usual kind of video, but I'd like to do some more vlogging, um, more than what I do now. So, all right, adventure awaits. So I just texted my best friend, Shauna, to come over because I'm already like, I don't know what to wear. I have outfits, I have so many clothes, but like, People don't really dress up dress up. It is a nice restaurant, but like okay, so let me show you what I've got picked out so far It'll be too late for you to tell me which one by the time I post this video But you can at least look so hold on Can I switch it around? I don't think I can hold on. Okay, so we're back So I have this high low like pea plume shirt and it comes like down really low, so it looks kind of fancy. And I was gonna do that with like just jeggings. Or I have this little cold shoulder dress. It's like a baby doll dress, swing top thing, whatever. And then I've got like a fit and flare black dress. And it's got like lacy at the bottom. And I was gonna wear this kimono over it because it's sleeveless and I don't do sleeveless. So I don't know, I don't know. And then I have other stuff too. Like, hold on. I've also got this like maxi kind of dress. It's high low, has lace, um, like lace on the panel right here. But then it's like it's a little bit high low. It's super cute. It's a little wrinkled, so probably not. I also have this jumper that I haven't worn yet. That is shorts with like the side panels, so it looks long and f funny. I also have like a really long black dress, but I feel like this is like a funeral dress and I don't really want to do that. So I also have this cute little number that is like off the shoulder, but it's kind of long sleeve and I don't think I'd be comfortable in it. I don't know. Send help. And then I've got this one that I really like and I can wear that with like black leggings. Ooh, actually that might be it. Cause I really like this. And I would just pair it with like a black tank top under it because it's see-through and black leggings. This might be the winner. I don't know. So this is part of what I do. Is like, I'm like, okay, I'm going to wear this. And then I find like three other things that I'm like, oh, would that look better? And then like I give myself too many choices. And I don't know what to do. And so then I just come sit outside because it's easier than making actual decisions. Now granted, I did start very early because I knew this was going to happen. This is what happens. Like going places doesn't exhaust me as much as getting ready to go places. Like the steps it takes to get to go somewhere, like it just exhausts me. I don't know why. It's the anxiety thing, but I don't know if any of the rest of you feel like that. It's like even something as simple as like going to Target. I'm like, well, if I go to Target, then I got to get out of my pajamas. If I get out of my pajamas, I need to take a shower. If I take a shower, I got to find new clothes and I got to find something that looks cute on. And then I have to get in the car and then drive. And then by the time I've thought about all the stuff I have to do just to get to Target, not only shop and then check out and come home, like I'm already tired. So, but I can't what's out of this. So I'm going to have to do it either way. <sighs> I just need to decide between black outfits because that's, you know, what I wear. All right. Update soon. Okay. So I like this dress because I like the details. I like that it's cold shoulder. The problem is, is that, hold on, let me back up. It's like mid thigh, which I mean, I like my legs, but I'm just not sure if it's age appropriate. <laughs> So we're gonna keep looking. I don't have it zipped up, but I really like this dress. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's definitely a little bit longer. Like it comes down, I miss my knee. And I like the little lace detailing. So I think this is gonna be the winner. It's good. 
Ooh, gold. 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 Oh, oh. Gold. Gold. Now that I have no pores, because I have no pore room, time to get rid of this redness. So one thing that's really frustrating about redness, and you guys don't see it as much on my videos because you're not up this close, is I could put like four pounds of makeup on my face and my cheeks are still going to be red. Like I just smothered my cheeks with green color corrector, a good green color corrector. And I still look red. <sighs> you guys, the sponge I got from Ulta and that kit with that really pretty brush, look how fast it blends my makeup. Like that's incredible. Look at that. Beautiful. Ugh. And it was like so cheap. It was like $10 for the brush and the blender. And it's real floofy. And it's pretty. Of course, I'm making it ugly with my foundation. But look at that. It blends so well. So quick. Yes. So I haven't really talked about the Jeffree Star Concealer. But I am wearing it right now. And since I can get super close, I just want you to see how amazing this concealer is. Like, it blends so well. I'm not having to, like, push real hard, and it doesn't crease up. It just stays where it's supposed to. I mean, beautimous, right? I'm trying to bring some down and cover that red. Red! It's my nickname, Old Red Face. But in case you couldn't see, let's get real close. Look at that, look at that. I'm not having to like smush it or blend with my finger or anything. It's just pretty, pretty, pretty coverage. And I am doing my makeup in natural light, which is why my face probably looks weird. But like I've said before, it's good to do your makeup in natural light if you're going outside because you know, you want it to look good in real light, not your vanity light. But look at that guy. That coverage is just amazing. And no creasing. No creasing at all. Look at that. I mean, I'm being real down and, you know, that's the one thing. I do want to vlog more. And this is kind of interesting because usually you see me do my makeup from a distance. So now you're like really in it. So I'm gonna set my concealer and my foundation and all right, I'm all set. I did use the Magic Star setting powder as well in translucent. I have the light, but since I'm going out and not just playing with makeup at home, I didn't want to like risk it on something that might not look right. So next I'm gonna use my Cover Effects palette, my face palette. I love this thing. Like I don't know what they did or how they did it to make it so it's universally flat flattering, but it really, really is. So I'm gonna contour and Blush and I don't want to highlight till the end because that's that's the special stuff. I'm gonna put some contour and some blush on and then we'll get to my eyes. Ooh, I forgot. So the finishing powder and the cover effects is fine, but this is when I like to go and take my meteorites, which are the little I'm gonna show you. The little uh Guerlain. I lost one and I've got really sad and I can't find it. But they look like this. And what I do is, it's kind of like so I can veil, because you know, I obviously have like bronzer and then blush. So since I want to look good, I take a kabuki brush. I just kind of pounce it in there a little bit, and then just kind of set my whole face and veil at the same time with the meteorites and also blending all my products together. Okay, so my eyebrows are on, sisters, not twins, don't judge. 
and my eyelids are primed. I've decided to go for a little one-two punch. I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Norvina palette and the Huda Amethyst palette because the overpiece I'm wearing over my dress, the kimonos kind of got pink and purple in it. So you guys have never actually seen me do my eyeshadow up this close. Scary, isn't it? Terrifying. Okay, so I'm just gonna get a big old powder brush and go into the color base in Norvina because, you know, base. I'm just gonna pat that all over. And the reason that you put a base color down, I'm reminding you, Gorky, is that when you prime your eyes, whatever goes on your eyes after that powder-wise is going to is gonna snatch that color. So if you're trying to go for just one color look, that's fine, but if you're trying to do a more blended look or smoky eye or anything like that, you wanna lay a base down so that you have something to blend with. So that way your eyeshadow primer is grabbing hold of the lightest color and then you're able to blend off of that. Instead, because if you go right into your transition, the primer that you just put down is gonna grab that color and it's not gonna blend. So, all right, so we got base down. Hmm. I think, I think, I think, I think, I think. I'm gonna start with love in my transition because I love love. I love love. Make sure my brush is clean. And Love is a really pretty pink in the Norvina palette. And I'm just gonna set my transition with that. So now I'm gonna go in and the Huda palette, Huda, 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 has a darker kind of pinky purple, this color right here. And I'm gonna go in with that just real lightly in my crease with a more thinner, this is a Luxie, what is this? Luxie 331. And I'm going in really like right against my eyeball and just kind of once you're wiping that right in that crease. So it gives a little bit of color and dimension, but it's not, doing too much. Just kind of adding shadows in. I should do a little more. Eyelash. So eyelash was that. Yeah, okay. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. I don't know if you can see the picture. Okay. And it's a subtle difference. It's not, like I said, you know, sometimes the best eyeshadow looks, in the end it looks like you have maybe two colors on your eye, but you actually have like 12. It's all about blending and the shape and what you're trying to make stand out and what you're trying to make disappear and all that good jazz. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. It looks really weird because I'm like in weird lighting, so I'm trying to see. <sighs> and I want to show you guys, I don't want you guys to see what I'm doing because I don't feel like you guys get the uploads in person very often. All right, so I'm going to go down with, now see, this is the thing. I'm doing this to go out, so like, I'm not going to be as bold in my choices as I would normally be, like if I was just filming a video. So I'm going to Dreamer, which is a champagne shimmer color in the Anastasia palette. This does have fallout, but look how gorgeous it is. So my eye look is gonna be more subtle. God, that's pretty. And it does have fallout. She's a fallout girl. But if you use Anastasia Beverly Hills, you kind of know that it falls out. I mean, I'm actually gonna take that a little further than I normally would, almost to the end of my eye. I mean, I could stop there and that would be pretty, but I'm not going to. I am, however, going to take my fan brush and get rid of that. Ooh. Don't need to be sparkly under my eyes now. All right. So what to do now? I think I'm going to go in with this. Hmm. I don't know. I think I'm gonna use this middle color. I like that I'm recording this because usually I do this anyway without being recorded, like talk to myself. And my husband's like, who are you talking to? And I'm literally talking to myself. So I'm going in with the lightest shimmer shade in Huda, which is like a goldy purple. 
and I've never used this color. I don't know how it's gonna lay down. Hmm? I don't think that's dark enough. Yeah, look at all that glitter under my eyes. Ooh, I don't know if that was dark enough. I may need to go darker. Now, Huda shimmers definitely work better wet. And that might be what it comes down to. Mm-hmm. Okay. So first, I'm going to deepen up my crease a little more. Again, I know you guys are like, what? Stop. I had to go back with my sponge and my wet sponge from where I did my foundation and I just tapped under my eyes to get rid of some of that glitter because it was not going anywhere and it was like iridescent. So I'm going to stay away from more iridescent colors from right now just because, like I said, I'm going out to dinner. I'm not going to a discotheque. <laughs> I don't even think that's a word that people use anymore, but I am going to take this little purple color and for my V just on the outside of my eye to open my eyes up a little bit more. And I got that all over my eye too. Okay, so apparently Huda has some fallout too. But you see how that just kind of gave me a little bit of dimension. I'm gonna rub that right under. Yes, I know I have fallout. I will take care of it. <music> looks pretty good I don't know if you guys can tell it's very pretty I'm gonna have to go back I want to show you because I got sparkles again I don't know what I have that's sparkly but if you look you see how it's real sparkly right there if you just go back with your sponge and kind of tap tap do not drag oh my god don't drag because you'll pull your makeup off you just kind of tap it just lessens any of that that you might have and honestly all the only other thing I'm going to do to my eyes is, well, I think I'll just use a highlighter because both those palettes are kind of disappointing me right now, and I don't know why. Um, I mean, I think it's a pretty enough eye look, but, well, I'm going to slap on some liner and some lashes because I can't do that on the phone, and I'll bring you back for highlighting time. Okay, so my highlighter's on. I don't know if you can see it or not. The lighting, like I said, is kind of shoddy. But I put Rodeo Drive on. Um, I have the Lancome Hypnos on. And now I'm going to show you my little, my little lip trick. So this is a, it's called the Wonder Pen pencil from, um, you can get one from NYX. I think NYX has one. Um, I don't know who else has one. This is actually an old one that I've had for a long time from Prescriptives. But um, basically it's a wax-based kind of like a highlighter pencil. So when you're doing your lips, if you outline your lips first, it'll help you not bleed. And it also gives you like a good idea of where you want your lipstick to stop. And I haven't shown this on my channel just because I don't get my camera this close. And I don't go all the way in. I kind of just like stop right there because my lip is like, super big compared to my top lip so i kind of am coloring in a little bit of my lip just to make it look a little bit more even and then i go right here because it's important to go ahead and define your cupid's bow and depending on the mood i am sometimes it's sharp cupid's bow sometimes it's not i don't think today's going to be a sharp cupid's bow and i don't use liner a lot um to each zone it's just, I feel like it's an unnecessary step because I use liquid lipstick. Um, so 
yeah, I'm gonna find a liquid lipstick and then I'll show you the completed look. You know when you find a shade of lipstick and you're like, ugh, this is my shade of lipstick. Like, I mean, I have more than that, but I have others, like I have a red that I really like, I have a nude that I really like, but Pasadena from Ofra is like, I don't know, like it's just universally good on my lips. Like if I'm wearing pink, it looks pink. If I'm wearing red, it looks more red. I don't know, it doesn't make my teeth look yellow. I love it. So here's my makeup look. I have to go judge my hair. This is second day hair, don't judge me. Um, but I'm gonna go put some dry shampoo in it to give it a little bit more volume. And I'm gonna get dressed. And we'll see where, where we go from there. I hate that like I can't show you my, I don't know. Well, this is what I'm wearing. It's like a little kimono, jeez, oh, little kimono. I've got uh, this, Pamela Ebert gave me this. It's really pretty. It's like an agate. Hold on, I'll turn the camera. Well, I can't, ah. But yeah, so I think this looks good. My spring scent, I've had this for a couple years because I only really use it in the spring and summer because it's very like springy, summery, but it's like my one bougie. Bougie perfume. I don't really use perfume a lot, so this is this is it. So this is Earth Walk shoes. We're gonna go in. Ooh, I just hit my elbow. Ow. We're gonna go in and see what's going on. See if we can catch anyone doing anything bad. I'm filming. Watch yourself. There's my beautiful husband. Hey. All the shoes and socks. Hey, I need you to zip the back of my dress off. <laughs> and they have like little accoutrements, candles, handbags, bath bombs. There's some really pretty, I love these jewels. Necklaces, aren't they pretty? Ooh. Ooh. And they have all these t-shirts. They have cute clothes. There's some of my artwork. Oh no, I can't, I can't even see you in there. So yeah, that's the store. Husband, driving, driving my car. Driving, driving my car. car. Oh yeah. Driving my car. Car, car. He likes to drive this car better cause it is cooler. Minivan <laughs> isn't cool at all. I mean, it's an SUV, so it's not like it's that much cooler. Yeah, but minivan is like Volvo station wagon. Are you excited for dinner? Yeah, I'm hungry. You're hungry? What are you going to get? Mm, maybe margarita pizza? Maybe yeah, look lasagna? At, look at his cute little shirt. It kind of matches what I'm wearing. Ooh, coordinated. Except for I'm wearing flowers. Mine are kind of... Could be they're flowers. waves. I think they're waves or clouds or something. But it's cute. It looks good on you. Thank you. Who picked it out? I don't dress myself. No, you don't. All right, more to come. All right, so we're pulling into the Market Street of Flowood. Ooh. Oh, I need to listen to shoes. So there's like a Smoothie King and a Corner Market. There used to be a Genghis Grill. Five guys. Five guys. There's a bunch of like that's as well. It's like a clothing store, freshy salad place. There's a stop sign. There's a stop sign. There's a T-Mobile. There's an Alta that way. Ooh, it's over that ultras. way. It's over that way. But it's a cute little place. They have lights that light up at night because, you know, they don't light up during the day. There's like a Froyo place and like a pecan house and a massage place. Edible arrangements. And edible arrangements and like prom dresses. Yes. And a cookie star. And a lady with a cookie cake. And a lady with a cookie lady. cake. Roll that window down. Lady, me, me lady how much cake. is that cookie cake? <laughs> and a Jack Panay. Is that a spot And a plant. I don't know how this place is open. It sells sunglasses. Like, what? And casual apparel. Oh, well, it's probably the casual apparel. Right, apparel? We got shoes and stuff, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Pouring it in on my business here. And there's the Jacques Panay. Right. There's a Sephora. Right. There's a Sephora inside there. So Sephora and Ulta right here. Yeah, there's a Charming Charlie. Blip. <laughs> Oops. That's okay. Yeah, well, one of your former employees. Yes. Back in former. The day. 
former. And then Amerigo is the Italian restaurant we're going to. And look at it with oh, this little. What is this? What? What is this? Hey, there's a better one. What are you talking Front about? Front door parking? Yeah. We're lame. It's six o'clock it on a Friday night, and we're like dinner time. So this is Amerigo's. I probably won't film that much in there, but yeah, don't do that. Oh person. my god, I'm not going to, but I'm gonna take pictures of my food like a bouge. So my husband did not get a reservation, so now we wait. Say hello, Roman. Say happy birthday. Oh, he's not hey. gonna show his face. It's me. He was totally trying to hide his face, and we've out. and we've banned yeah. Larry too. I'm not going to blur your face out. Unless you tell me I have to. And then I have to, I guess. So we're waiting for a table. Yay. I'm home. And I am tired. And I am full but it was fun i hope you guys enjoyed this um this is definitely something a little different for me but um it was fun taking you on an adventure um if you guys want to see me do more of these please like and comment down below um if you don't comment too let me know um and everybody let's just take a deep breath on this friday night let it go and be still